What's up YouTube, Zach here, and today we will be doing a quick deck profile, and I say quick because my camera is about to run out of battery, and I'd like to get this film before it does. Anyway, as I mentioned probably in the previous video, I'm going to be doing a new deck profile on Insector, since I finally got all three Hornets, and I really want to put my tour guides to use in some way. I wouldn't say I'm the best Insector player, but I, I'm okay at building decks, I like to believe. And so I put this together just to play around with uh, friends and stuff. And to be honest, even though it's meta, I honestly prefer to play Six Samurai. Uh, I feel like I mentioned that earlier. Anyway, um, I guess my camera's focusing, so we'll get right into the deck profile. We've got three tour guides. Um, since I have the tour guides, run them. I guess that's how it goes. Otherwise, run Armageddon Knights or anything like that. Although, to be honest, they aren't that expensive anymore. I think they're in, like, the $20 range. Um, next, we've got Triple Hornet. Um, that's standard for Insectors. Um, after that, we've got three Dragonfly, also standard. Triple Centipede, more standard. The one Gigamantis, obviously good. I don't run Giga Weevil like a lot of people have been suggesting. Um, I prefer just running the alone Giga Mantis. Uh, I feel that's all you need, uh, so that's all I run. Next we've got the one Hopper. Um, uh, only one, just because you attach him to Centipede to search for Hornet. And then you also run one Ladybug to get your rank 5s. Uh, pretty good toolbox card. I haven't had any problems with it yet. Uh, then we run one Sangin for the tour guides. I'm also considering running... Uh, Night Assailant, I think it is, uh, just because it's not as bad to draw into, and I really, for some reason, once I got Tour Guys, I didn't like drawing into uh, Sangan anymore, but I mean, he's still good to draw into, he's not a bad card. And we got Triple Veiler, because if I had BLS, it would be live, and plus, so many effects going off this format, you need it. Um, I still run the one Gores, uh, yeah, this is Gores, uh, I think it'll show. There you go, the one Gores. I feel he's still a good card. Um, and I, even, that, even if that bumps the monster count to 21, I don't mind. And then we've got Dark Armed, which should be uh, Black Luster Soldier. So that's it for the monster lineup. Uh, next we'll get into spells. And for spells we've got one Allure uh, of Darkness. Uh, not bad, not great. You don't really want to be removing your Insectors from play, but really helps if you draw into like double tour guide and you want to get rid of one. Better than duality in my opinion. Um, next we've got Pot Avarice uh, to recycle your tour guides, uh, recycle Gores, recycle your Veilers. There's so much that can be recycled. Uh, the only thing you really don't want to recycle is maybe one Hornet. The other two you can recycle. We got Dark Hole. Uh, so these two are the draw power by the way. One Dark Hole. One Reborn, uh, those are staples. Then I run one Lance. I had been running uh, two before, but I decided I would just uh, knock it down to one. You do run three Mystical Space Typhoons in this, so that's plenty of uh, protection in my opinion. Then we got one Insector Sword. I only run one, honestly, because I only have one, but still, it works in one. Um, it's good in one. You can still get the OTK off. I OTK half of my opponents, and then the other half, I for some reason just did not draw a single monster during my games uh, at locals. So those are the one of spells, and then oh yeah, we've got heavy, more staple, and triple mystical space typhoon, which I think is ten spells. I can count one, four, five. Yeah, 10 spells. Um, I feel like that's the standard number. This is 21, 10, 10, I think. So for traps, we've got Solemn Brigade, uh, Judgment, Double Warning. And we've got one call. I feel you only need one call. And I only have a minute left to explain everything. So yeah, two safe zone because you run one call, two safe zones. So that's like your three. Instead of running three call or three safe zone, that's how I make set it up. Double Torrential, uh, very live in this deck. Um, you don't even have to summon because now you can bluff Gores if, once people know you have it. And you can just set a Torrential or something. Um, and they'll think it's a Mystical Space Typhoon if they have back row. And then Double Phoenix Chain because I really do not like effects going off. Um, I 
a lot of effect hate. So I think I would do fine in a mirror match. Um, maybe it was just my matchups is the reason I did bad at locals. 42 seconds, we've got Levier. I'm saying 42 seconds because that's all I got left to explain this all. Levier, Leviathan, Acid Golem, Giga Brilliant, Tem Tempo, Mirza Rhythm, Grenosaurus, Rank 4s, we got Lagia, Utopia, My Stroke, and then Fives. Not good. Existag never went into it. Adrius went into it. Tyrus went into it once. And Photon Strike Bouncer. I did manage to go into this. Overall, extra 15 cards, not bad. You would side uh, Guaybas to make Laggy alive. And then Dimensional Fissures help a lot. Uh, that's it for now. Subscribe below.